Good morning, junior scientists. My name's Laura, and I'm here today to get you into some seriously fun science, the street science way. And today's lesson is all about what living things need to survive. Well, first, if we're figuring out what living things need to survive, we need to know what a living thing is. And there are seven pieces of evidence that we can collect to determine whether or not something is a living or a non-living thing. And those seven pieces of evidence, the first letters, they spell out the acronym Mrs. Gren. Now, Mrs. Gren is going to be really important over my lessons in biology because, well, those different pieces of evidence are very important in classification. The M in Mrs. Gren stands for movement. I'm moving, I'm a living thing, plants move very slowly even though you can't see them and well most things that you can see every day they're moving and that is one piece of evidence that you can collect to determine if something is a living thing. The R in Mrs. Gren stands for respiring, like exchanging gases. You can see me, I'm breathing. <sighs> and that breathing, that respiring, is more evidence of a living thing. The S stands for sensing its environment. I'm sure you know of five senses that you could name off the top of your head right now. And those senses involve one, your eyes. Your eyes are responsible for your sense of sight. Your ears, number two, are responsible for your sense of hearing, your nose is responsible for your sense of smell, your tongue is responsible for your sense of taste, and your fingers help you feel things. Now those senses, well, they help you get around the world, they help you in your living state, and well, all living things will sense their environment in some way. The G in Mrs. Gren stands for growing. I wasn't born like this. I grew up. I started life as a tiny little baby and I grew, I got taller, my hair grew, my nails grew. And well, growing is another piece of evidence that we can collect. The R in Mrs. Gren, the second one, it stands for reproduce. And to be a living thing, you need to be able to make more living things to pass on your genetic information into the next generation. The E stands for excreting waste. Poos, mostly. For most living things, an excreted waste will consist of the things that come out the other end, but there are other different ways that different living things will excrete waste. It might be a gas product, it might be uh, foliage falling off, Excreting waste is another piece of evidence. And the last one, nutrition. Nutrition is food to get energy, something that gives your body the potential, its power to get up in the morning and get moving. And all living things will consume nutrition in some form. Now that we know what a living thing is, well, we need to know what all living things need to survive. Thank you.